Alrighty, well hello everyone, how are you guys doing? It is DirelessCon here with this episode of Bank Sold, Bank Made. And what I've decided to do is, I am going to be grinding a little bit more of the Ganodermix. And the reason for that is, well, I looked at um, the armor prices and everything, and I can get Bandos. It's really inexpensive now. I think it's like 10 mil for the whole set, maybe, not even. What I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grinding Ganodermic Beasts until I can get full Bandos, basically. And I think that'll help me with the QBD, because Bandos provides a DPS bonus rather than just, um, you know, being defensive armor or anything. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and grind this for a while. It's about 2 mil an hour, so it should take me about 4 hours of grinding, and then I will have enough money to do this. Hopefully. I mean, we have 3 mil in the bank. Oh, my ports are coming back! But we, we have like 3 mil in the bank, so... I'm thinking about four hours, so I got four yaks on me to help me out. So when those bad boys run out, then I will be probably done with all this, get my bandos, and being able to grind the QBD will definitely, definitely be a positive for us. Alrighty, guys. Off to kill some ganos. Alrighty, and I am back from that Ganodurk mission, moving my mic again, because I pushed it back. Anyway, guys, so we are done, and uh, if you look over to the right, that is the lootations I got. And what I did for this run is, I didn't time it, because I used a yak, and then didn't use a yak for a while, depending on how much inventory space I had. But, um, I bought 5,000 fire runes, and 5,000 air runes, and I used every single one of them up. Um, I used abilities the whole time, so, you know, I didn't use a lot of runes. <laughs> so I'm assuming I killed um, more than 500, but less than 1,000 Ganondermic Beasts. So, uh, let us sell this lootation, and actually, let's take this out. We're going to withdraw. I'm going to say just say 4 mil, take it all out. And we are going to see how much this entire tab costs. I did make a good amount of money. I mean, we got 5 magic seeds. I am going to keep these torstals because for the next farm run, I am going to be planting those. And I'm going to start using torstals. I'm going to be doing some higher level stuff uh, purely to help me make some money. As you guys saw earlier with the Avento, good money there. You got like 100 something K for that. Also, another thing my buddy told me, um, Nico, in case you're watching. Hi, Nico. Um... If you guys uh, have your Varrock tasks done, be sure to buy Battle Staffs every day because that's just some free money when you have the uh, max level after you're done with your... Does it go to Elite? I think it only goes to Hard for Varrock. I forget. But when you're done with the highest level task, that's like 100k plus a day just buying those Battle Staffs and then selling them on the GE. Super fast. Fastest money probably in game. You buy 80 Battle Staffs and then you run over to the GE and sell them. I can't think of a faster money-making method in the game. If you, if you do that every single day, you do that for 10 days. Literally takes you like 5 seconds a day or 10 seconds a day. You made 1 mil, technically in 60 seconds. Y you can't complain a mil a minute. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sell this, and we will be right back. Sorry, a mil a minute? Wow, 100 seconds would be a minute and a half. And a minute 40, there we go, so like two minutes. So, the, so that's not bad at all. Anyway guys, I'm going to be right back after I sell all this. Alrighty, so in those 1,000 casts of Fire Surge, uh, which is what I did, so that's five air runes, five everything. Uh, yeah, so in that time, I got 8.1 mil. Ooh, Shortcake! Ooh, that's an awesome name. Last time we have... All, all these girl avatars have these really cool names. Last time we had Tomato. This time we have Shortcake. Oh, yes. Hello, Shortcake. Oh, you are not that short. We are about the same height, but my bunny ears make me a little taller. So I guess you are short. I'm sorry. But yes, in that time uh, that I did those 1,000 casts, I got 8.1 mil. And now if we add our coins right here, we have a total of 11 mil. We are in the green, guys. We are in the green. We are in the green. That's right. Double digit mils. All right. Now I'm going to buy, oh, I guess, plus 8k, my bad, forgot I had those in there. But I am going to go ahead and buy another Torstal Seed, and I'm going to go on this farm run. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, farm run, guys. In case you're wondering, these are Spirit Seeds. Can't sell those, sadly, so just throw them in my bank. And as always, whenever I get runes on a trip, I do not sell them. I throw them in the bank because at some point I'm probably going to be using them, unless they're like the death runes or the chaos runes. I might just sell those because I'm going to be only be using bloods. Hmm. I'll think about it. Anyway, guys, going to go on a farm run and I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, and just for a reference point, let's do this. We got our torso seeds, which is about about mid, so it's going to be about 162k. We're going to say about like 170. So that's going to be our reference point for when we pick, and I will definitely show you when these torsos are done. I will uh, let you know how much we made off those. Alrighty, so I kind of wish I had something a little bit nicer planted because I think I had one of the greatest farm runs I've ever had quantity-wise. I got 79 Aventode. 79. Let's see how much that is. You guys, I, th I think it was like, what, like 100k to like get all of those or something like that? What was it? I forget how much it was overall. I think it was like 35, 60k, something in there. How much is that? 330k. Jeez, we made some good money on this farm run. That is definitely for sure. Man, I wish all my farm runs were this epic. <laughs> and like I said before, do farm runs, people. If you don't, you're losing out on lots and lots of money. Alrighty, so our melee gear is nice, but it's just not cutting it anymore. We need something stronger and more powerful, and now we have 11 mil. So now it's time to drop some money to make some better money. Now, first things off. First things off, first things first. We are going to get some Bandos Tacits. Why? Well, because they're level 70, they provide good defense, damage boost, a prayer bonus, and they're just going to be useful in the future, especially if I'm going to be going to Bandos God Wars, I'm going to need Tacits in that way to protect myself because Bandos is like one of the only gods where it's like really obscure to get an item. Like I'd have to get like a coif or like some other just random Bandos item. And uh, the Tacits are a pretty good item as well, giving me uh, DPS and a pretty good armor bonus and everything. So I'm going to stick with that for right now. So bam, we got Bandos Tacits. Look at that, guys. Look at that, tacits. We we have tacits, bandos, tacits in this series. Oh, I'm actually kind of happy right now. We we've already progressed to bandos, tacits, but uh, we are not completely ready uh, just to drop all the money we own because we do still need money in the series. And I don't feel like grinding ganodermics for a little while, even though it is a good two mil an hour, or so depending on my luck. Um, I'm not going to be doing that for a bit because I want to do some other stuff that's more fun. So what I'm going to be doing is instead of dropping um, the money on the chest plate, I'm going to go ahead and get the same level gear or not get the same level gear. Darok. Rock. Okay, um, now the difference you see here, uh, this is tank gear, so it's going to give me a higher life bonus and a higher armor rating. Well, this one does not give me a prayer or a base damage bonus. So it's not DPS, it's more of just tank gear, and as of right now, that's pretty good for me. I'm fine just getting tank gear. Hopefully this buys. There we go. There we go. That bought for a good amount. That was only like 300 and something K. So as you can see here, well, yeah, we got here. Uh, Derek's might, which is something we could use, but the thing is, I don't really feel like using that set effect. I'd much rather use my maul. It's a lot, a lot more powerful right now than just like the off chance of hitting something a little bit more powerful, you know. But I, I shouldn't do that. And also, um, along with this, I think I'm just going to match the set, and I'm going to get a Derek's helm. Let's see how much that is. Alrighty, let's see what the other Torag's helm, because we're not really going for a set effect. Okay, there we go. Uh, because, here, let me just let, let me just make sure there is no stat differences. I don't see why there would be. Alrighty, so we're going to get a Torag's helm instead, because it is the exact same price, and we're not looking for a set effect or anything like that. We are purely looking for the armor rating. So, we have upgraded our stuff. Now, <laughs> we look really dumb, so good thing I have this overlay. Uh, so we got the Bandos Tacits, the Derek's Plate Body, and a Torag's Helm. And putting that together gives us a pretty good armor rating. Uh, how much is a Fury nowadays? I'm not going to invest into it yet unless it's really cheap. 2.6 mil. Ooh, that's tempting. That is tempting right now. What is that? It's 4.2% and what's a Glory? 3.9. I think I'm just going to stick with the Glory until we start doing some higher level things because where that might be worth it I'd rather just not spend the money on that quite yet so um, 
Yeah, because uh, that's like an hour of doing Ganos, just like down the drain, just for a 0.2% increase. But you know, any increase is really good for you overall. So now that we have this, I feel the QBD may be a little bit nicer to us. We're going to take out our Vampirism, and we also got Penance, but we're going to wear Vampirism for right now. And yeah. Let's check our defense against range. If we can check our stats, uh, I think it's this one right here. Our defense against range, our hit chance against range is pretty high. Our block chance against range is 30%, so that's pretty, pretty good. I'm looking forward to that. So facing the QBD should be a lot, lot nicer than it was before than when we had the rune armor. And we need to get our, our chaotic maul. And I have a tab, by the way, for QBD stuff, which I'm just going to put here. The 10 Torstal, I did a Torstal run because I had them planted. Um, I'm actually just going to take them out and clean them so I can separate them from the pile. Because that was my first QBD kill, if you guys remember. Clean, 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 cleany, cleany, clean. I got... <laughs> you clean an herb. There were somehow divine tears on it. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to do that, and yeah, I think we're all ready to do some more QBD runs with our Chaotic Maul. Just need to gear up, going to make myself a little bit more overload potions, and then going to be grinding that for a bit. I'm going to definitely record the first run just to see how much better it is, because we have our new upgraded armor. We got more life, more armor, a uh, bando, so we got some DPS going at it. And once we get, um, I think we're going to, going to grind for about three hours, and then that should yield about uh, eight to nine mil from that, depending, no, I'm probably not going to get three mil an hour doing it. I'm going to say I'm going to get a consistent 2.5. So probably after three hours of grinding the QBD, I'll be able to get to the uh, Bando's top, the chest plate. And I'm going to send my money on that. And then after that, I think it is time for us to explore the realm of God Wars and finally progress to that level. Oh, yeah, we are getting there, man. We are getting there. Making them big bucks. Yo, yo, yo. Alrighty guys, I'll be right back once we get all geared up and ready to do the QBD. Alrighty guys, so I just thought of something which is going to save me a lot of time in this series, like a lot of time. So I went online and I searched um, uh, on the RuneScape wiki, they have a page for the total cost from scratch to get a overload potion for the uh, three dose of course. Uh, it's 70.1k. Now, if I just make that 80k per 3 dose, it is going to make everything so much easier if I can just take out 160k and then just remove one flask from my bank. So, like this, I will go and I will say, uh, withdraw money, go 160k like this, come over here, throw it in my bank, so it's not with the money that we made with the series, and I take out an overload flask because I have a ton to use anyway I'm even rounding up I'm spending more you know like you probably would have to for a price increase on some of the items like a ranging potion is definitely like one or two K more over mid and all that stuff so I think rounding it up to 80 K is fair so anytime I want to bring out a flask I need to deposit 160 K into the bank I think that's fair and I just need to keep track of how many doses I use is all, or else I'm just going to be wasting money and throwing it into the wind. But I think that's pretty fair. It's going to save me a lot of time than buying all these individual pieces and then mixing it and doing all this. I think just taking the money equivalent out, probably even more than the money equivalent amount, is uh, fair enough for this series just to save some time. But we do need to head out back into the desert, uh, pick up some phoenix... Oh my gosh, my tongue. Pick up some phoenix feathers, that way we can make some super anti-fires. Alrighty, so here we are with our new armor and our uh, inventory of sharks, overload, super anti-fires. Got our prayer potions as well, if need be. And let's do this. Let us rock that QBD. Hopefully this goes pretty swimmingly with our higher level armor. It's 20 levels higher than Rune. Rune's level 50. This armor is level 70. And our Torag's top or, uh, sorry, our Derox top has some pretty good levels for defense and HP-wise. So, hopefully this goes a lot more swimmingly. Alrighty. 
And yeah, you guys who um, are looking into uh, investing into higher level gear, if you guys think the next step from like Rune and everything is like you need to jump all the way to like Bandos and all that stuff, don't be looking at that armor like right off the bat. Definitely start looking at Barrel's armor because they provide more defense. They may not give the damage boost and uh, have that effect over at God Wars where, you know, you're like protected against a certain kind of boss. But upgrade to that first because you are going to save a ton, ton of money and that wall should come through still. No, it didn't. Okay, interesting. So yeah, upgrade to that armor first before you do anything else. It'll definitely save you some money in the long run. Okay, back and forth. Okay, I took that too soon. Whatever, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Stay here. Ooh, I have a Vampirism Aura. Need to put that on. Okay. Well, we are taking a little bit of damage, but, um... I mean, I pretty much expected to take some damage. It's not like buying this armor was going to make us somewhat invulnerable. And if you're hearing Skype noises, that is my friend talking to me. Do not look at your Skype. <laughs> you are not getting messages. And there it is again! Oh my gosh, I am apologize. I would turn that off, just now is not the right time. See, I swear every time I want to use Assault, they always go ahead and do something like that. Like, uh, she'll either do her Fire Breath or that craziness where, like, those minions spawn. She always does something stupid every single time. Okay, we go forward, and then back, and then forward, and then back, and then forward, and then back. Okay, so my prayer ran out. I need to do that again. Uh, restore that. Okay, yeah, we, we just need to keep an eye on our prayer and stuff. Oh my gosh, she did it again. Look at that. I, I, my assault just got wasted because of that. That's not fun. I don't like wasting assault. That's a really, really useful move. Oh, man. Oh, well. Run is still going well. I'd say so at least. I mean, we're not using that much food or anything. Ooh, okay, now we're going to destroy her. Actually, we're not going to use destroy. We're going to use just basic maneuvers because she is so, so weak to any kind of attack right now that is melee based. Is she summoning her minions? Wow, I didn't use assault and you summoned them? Whoa, what is this? This is in the QBD. I'm not doing this boss right now. What? Okay. <laughs> And use that. Get some prayer on. Hopefully get to assault. If we can get to assault before she does anything stupid, that would make me actually really, really happy. And oh, there she goes. Just to save there. Bam. And then we come back and go over here. And then we got the time stop guy. Of course. Of course. We couldn't just casually go through this whole thing without some sort of thing going on. Okay. Now it's time for assault. Okay. Or not. Maybe she'll do that instead, and maybe my assault won't work. Okay, back over here. <laughs> Pretty good QBD run. We are protecting ourselves. Oh my gosh, she did it again twice in a row. Oh my gosh, you are annoying. I just want to kill you. See, now this is just a bad run. I wouldn't say that. And then she's summoning her minions, of course. Of course. Why? Why would anything else happen? Why would cool things, nice things happen to me? Oh, but it looks like whatever I did, it helped me. So, yeah. Bam. Gotta put on my vampirism next time and be sure to keep an eye on my prayer. Uh, yeah, like like I said before, I'm usually used to just throwing on my Dragors and just tearing through the QED. So it's a little bit of a difference for me to get used to. And also I'm used to dual wielding. I'm not used to this setup yet. I need to uh, kind of get to a state where I know it off the top of my head rather than looking at the bar. It'll really, really help. And I need to organize this better like I can take off surge and some of these other things but anyway what is our first loot or second loot I guess we got some restore potions death runes and oh my gosh my tablet and my skype is just going off I feel really popular but at the same time stop talking to me right now <laughs> all right so that was our first QBD run went pretty good uh, we're gonna go through a yak and we're going to go to the underground portal and hopefully the next few runs go a little bit better. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we weren't getting hit as much by the range attacks, which is awesome news. But at the same time, I do need to be a little bit more wary of um, 
things going on around me like my prayer and the minions and what sort of attack she's doing. So yeah, if I can just get that down, I'm pretty much golden for the QED. So yeah guys, I will be right back. I'm going to grind this out for a little bit, make some cash money, and I will be right back. Alrighty, so here we are post torso run. So the way that the run basically went is we got 46 herbs, we saved a seed, but at the same time, sadly, one of ours died. So that means at bare minimum, if I didn't pick any additional crops in that one that died, we should have hit 51 crops. So, uh, also tip for you guys, if you are uh, not wanting any of your crops to die, like if you are going to be doing these more expensive herbs to try to get some money, if you are on Livid Farm, you can use this thing called Remote Farm, and what happens is during farming, I think it's every... Uh, I think it's like a 20 or 15 minute cycle. You can check the RS wiki just to be 100% positive, but basically from the moment you plant that seed, every 15 minutes that you're in game or out of game, uh, a cycle passes in the farming development. And when you do that, every time a cycle passes, you can go ahead and you can use remote farming. You can check all your patches to see if they're diseased, and if they are diseased, you can cure them through remote farming. So basically, what I used to do when torstals used to be really expensive, like the seeds were like 100k each, I would always make sure to be on remote farming, check my patches uh, every 15, 20 minutes, whatever the cycle is, would always check my patches and make sure they're okay. But that is besides the point, um, and let us check how well we did now. Um, yeah, so history. We spent 174k on five torstal seeds. So we got one back, so let's check our price checker. We got one torstal seed back, so that's 32k already. And then the rest of them, oh, I want to put all of them, 322k. Which isn't all that bad. That's like 150k. We made a little bit more during the Aventote runs. Uh, but the thing is, you know, if you get a good, good run on this one, uh, we should have made a little bit more. Like, let's just see here. Price checker. We should have made, at bare minimum, we should have made 31k more. Uh, these herbs are actually pretty cheap. Like, this is a torstal. A torstal is 6k. If you actually want to make some good, good money, try some dwarf weed. Um, I think it's dwarf weed. Let's see here. D W A dwarf weed seed. Uh, the seed is 47k, which is more than a torstal seed, surprisingly. Which I'm still trying to understand. Uh, cause I, I know overloads aren't worth that much. Um, but if you have a clean dwarf weed, they're worth 8k each. You know, it's about 2k more per uh, herb if you want to do a good run. I would highly suggest doing those. Um, I'm sticking to Torstals. I might drop down a Dwarf Weed to try to make a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. So, we still made money even though we use more expensive seeds. I'd say if you have the level for Torstal, it's a little bit more safe because um, you get to... Uh, because it's actually cheaper, uh, you are getting more experience for it too, which is pretty nice. So, um, yeah, let's see here. I just did a little bit of the QBD after that. Um, I did about like five runs total, I think, yeah. And um, within that, I got a Royal Sight, so that was pretty cool. So we got Runoi, Royal Sight, and I also got two uh, 200k coin drops from the QBD, which I invested in a good amount of sharks for us to continue on. But yeah, um, let me see how much longer we have in this episode. And if it's actually not too long, I might grind the QBD for a few more hours, like two, three hours, like I said I was going to do in the first place, and then we will see how much money I made in that time. So yeah, guys, I will be right back. Uh, if it's a long episode, maybe we end right here. Ooh, secretive. Alrighty, guys, so I'm moving my mic again. I always do this. I push my mic away, and then I bring it back, and I don't even know why it doesn't even get in my way in the first place. Anyway, guys, so um, after doing the QBD for a little bit with my Granite Mall and the Bandos, I realized it's, it's great, and I'm killing her efficiently. It's just the amount of damage I'm taking and all that stuff is making it really, really difficult to kill her. 
um, consistently, you know, I gotta go back and bank, come back, go back and bank, come back, and all this other stuff is going on, and it's just kind of getting in the way. Um, so what I did was I took a little bit of the money I made and I spent it on full krills. Um, as you can see here, this is my current setup. I got full krills, got the royal crossbow, uh, some black dehyde van braces, got a vampirism, the amulet raging, which is like 120k, so not even a big spending thing right there. I'm using this and my runs are so much better. And I'm going to show you why. Let's see what we got here, by the way. Ooh, rock tails. I love getting rock tails. Take rock tails good bank all those um, I'm gonna show you why it's a little bit better um, it has its advantages that's that's a big definite um, now I still have my chaotic mall but that's for a uh, the time stopper like I said he's weak to crush if you're trying to range the time stopper it doesn't really do that much damage only if you're lucky like you got to use one of your good ones or a multiple of these and if you have your chaotic mall on you it's weak to crush so pretty much you just whack it once or twice and it's gone so there's just nothing to worry about okay so we're gonna pot up now the first thing I like is not getting hit that much I got hit a ton there um, I'm getting owned right here I'm not doing a good job showing you guys why this is good uh, the first thing I like is you can take out a good amount of uh, the creatures that are spawning to come after you uh, because they won't be summoned in the first place uh, because you can be closer to the things. Like you can stand here, you can stand right next to this one, you can stand over there. Okay, I'm getting hit like really, really hard and she's using that range attack a lot. I just want to say that did not happen last time. I was doing good. I had like two runs and see look bam she didn't even get to summon one minion good so that's less damage that we need to take uh, also rapid fire is one hell of a kicker you do a lot of damage especially if she turns blue you are going to be killing the queen black dragon or as of lately in the time when she's been annoying me I've been calling her the QB dick because oh man just all the the mechanics of the QED are, are broken to an extent. Um, she gets lost uh, in your tracking system when you're uh, trying to hit her and stuff. I don't know. There's just like a lot of things that need to be improved. Uh, the other thing is, which you will see later on, is ghosts. Not taking the damage from those uh, tortured souls is amazing. There's so many that you can miss out on. Uh, the other thing is all these guys, like the grout worms, they shoot magic at you. And because you're wearing range in the first place, that takes out a lot of the damage that they're going to hit you. So that's pretty good. Um, okay, that was a bad example of trying to get rid of the ghosts. Very bad example, but uh, I'm not used to talking when I do this. So hold on. I need to get my prayer back up, but I didn't want to waste that rapid fire. Use, I'm so used. I, I usually do like a penance and then I'm done. See? Bam. Ghosts. Gone. Uh, two places. You don't want to stand anywhere really close to an edge and you don't want to stand close to this uh, because then uh, the ghost will spawn in a weird formation which will make it hard or impossible for you to um, be able to direct the damage towards them. Now the other positive of doing this is the flame walls you can have more room to do flame walls. I don't know why I attacked you with that. That's not very cool. Oh cool, my prayer went out as I was drinking it. Interesting. Um, kills, I do have to say, take a wee bit longer. Um, <laughs> so that's like one downside because I don't think you're inflicting as much damage. You are doing a good job though and I think saving the food in like the long run is what's really gonna help you. Um, so yeah, I also have my little butterfly on my hot bar. Okay, or maybe not. Uh, okay, come on, butterfly. There we go. Got the butterfly. Oh yes, give me health, Mr. Butterfly. Okay, we're gonna chrome over here because we are really close to killing her this phase. So we want to get as close as possible to that thing so she doesn't spawn any grot worms. Little to none. Come on, there we go. And of course, she would summon some ghosts at the last second just to piss me off. Okay, then this guy. Then you switch to this. You uh, do a shift tab to it. Oh my gosh, those things hit me. And like I said, two hits. And, you know, while I'm here, I might as well do an assault. Uh, of course, that ghost would spawn like that. Okay, and that assault really did absolutely nothing. Really? Really. Okay, well, I guess we are wearing range gear in the first place. So that's probably why it did no damage. Um... 
that that that's one of the targeting things is even though you click on the queen black dragon sometimes it'll start targeting like other things which isn't cool at all okay this is the ghost thing ready and boom okay i don't know what happened there that was dumb <laughs> Okay, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll just explain it. That might have been because I used rapid fire right there. Um, if you stand next to her like we have been with the Queen Black Dragon, the minions will spawn like sporadically, like wherever they kind of want. But if you're ranging or maging her, which I would suggest ranging at this point, if you're right here, they spawn in a square around you. So just like when they appear left or right, you can just take that little side step. Um, I do a lot better. When I got my Bring Me the Horizon and a bunch of other stuff playing, you know, just pumping me up, a little bit of Subliminal Versus Volume 3, you know, going through my veins and my ears, <laughs> gets me more pumped than I do a lot better than when I'm trying to commentate over what I'm doing. But, uh, magic logs! Uh, I don't need anything here. Bank all. But yeah, so I'm going to be sticking to this for a little bit, because it's it's proving to be the better option at the moment between um ooh sharks oh wait these are my sharks for my grave <laughs> oh good thing i got out here just in time <laughs> there we go so yeah right now this seems to be the better option uh this whole setup by the way is about oh god how much how much is this setup i bought the entire set i'd say for like 2.2 2.1 uh, because it was like 2.5 for the set, but I don't need the Krill's crossbow because I got the Royal, which is a lot better. Um, and then I bought everything else. Everything else is fairly cheap. Like that's 100k. That's like 20k. Uh, the Royal crossbow is probably going to be the most expensive thing aside from the Krill set. Uh, so I'd say like it's like a 3.1, 3.2 setup. Not even. You know, just kind of getting up there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say 3.1, 3.2, which really isn't that much money. If you're doing that unicorn method with the horns like I talked about earlier, you're going to be making some good money uh, with that. And if you grind that out for a few hours, you could probably afford this set ASAP. And if you've got some good defense and some good range, you could get in the QBD pretty easy. Uh, if you don't have a royal crossbow, I'd suggest maybe getting a crystal crossbow, which is about one mil, so that's a little bit more spending. Actually, I take that back. I don't recommend doing a crystal crossbow because then you're kind of stuck with it and you can't resell it. Do not listen to me when I say that. Um, I mean, you can buy the Krill's crossbow for the time being because it's the same level. The damage output isn't going to be the same. I think the accuracy is a little bit lower, but um, you can sell that back. Uh, after you fix it and stuff, so that's one investment you can do. That's like I said, 330, 350k. So it's all up to you guys. Um, and I'm saying buy that first because you got to forge the royal crossbow in the first place. So yeah, just a little update as to what I'm doing. I think that's going to end it off for this episode of Bank Sold, Bank Made. Also, I'm not sure if I've been recording or said this earlier because it's been about three days because I worked all weekend since my last recording, but I got a brand new graphics card and things are really, really shiny. And if I've already mentioned this, I apologize. I just like that I have every single setting on high of like anti-aliasing, X4, Bloom, On, all this stuff. It's just like, ah, oh, so pretty. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching this episode of Bank Sold, Bank Made. I'm sorry this episode took so long. I've just been very, very, very busy lately. And I haven't really had time to just be like, hey, let's sit down and play RuneScape for hours at on, on end. Also, because of this new graphics card, I've been playing games that I bought in the uh, Steam Summer Sale that I haven't been able to play before. Anyway, guys, I'm wasting vampirism right now. So, uh, I will talk to you guys later.